What's poppin' T-Subs and T-Squad? So listen, y'all know I normally don't complain and I won't gonna say nothing, but I'm about to give y'all behind the scenes to you. XP, no, not XP, HP. Y'all computers are BS, to say the least. And that's as nicely as I could put it. So I'm in the middle of giving y'all this um, tea talk right, and I was in the middle of reading the damn article. And the damn thing tried to um, update while I'm in the middle of my damn video and it messed up my video. HP, get y'all ish together. See, this is why I should have went to dick. Whatever. Anyway, y'all, um, what's good to y'all? Happy Tuesday to y'all. Now, again, I'm trying to give y'all this damn tea talk about Latasha and her husband trying to, um, well, since I done already kind of sort of talked about it, I can give y'all a little prequel at least. During this uh, Sunday night's episode of the Escaping SWV show, um, I guess Candy d- decided to take to Twitter and clap back at Latasha and Rocky for some of the things that they were saying um, when it came down to, you know, her and Candy's issue or whatever the case may be and so on and so forth. So that's what this situation is. So now that I got that out the way, let me start over. Candy Burris were asked to Latasha Scott with Bivens blaming her for her career role, so and so and so, blah, 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 blah. Candy Burris is finally understanding what's really going on between her and Latasha Scott Bivens. The escape singers have feuded for many years, uh, <clears throat> creating a complex dynamic between the group comprised, comprised of Candy, Latasha, Tamika Scott, and Tiny, t- uh, Tamika Tiny Harris. I still can't talk. To make a long story short, Candy felt that Latasha was given special treatment by the group's manager, Latasha's husband, Rocky Bivens, who was dating Latasha at the time. I'm not saying he didn't try his best, but he never managed, but he never managed before. And it's clear to say he had his favoritism in the girl. She said, she said in 2017 series, Escape, still kicking it. As for Latasha, she felt that Candy was always jealous of her success and that she might have had a role in preventing the release of her solo album, which is ridiculous to me. I don't understand what type of Candy, what type of pull Candy could have had back then to have ever set up and tried to prevent or or prevent it, your album, from making it. Like... That's how I should go to hell, girl. Anywho. But it seems Candy was unaware of the latter issue, at least until the Sunday, March 12th episode of Bravo's SWV and Escape the Queens of R&B. The second episode of the limited series saw Latasha say in a confessional that she has questioned whether Candy had a role in, in humping her solo career. Uh... I know back in the day, in 1998, I said I wanted to do a solo project. I think everybody was happy for me except Candy. She was just like, you're not coming back, Latasha said in SWV and Escape, the Queens of R&B. For some reason, my project got shelved, and then within that same time frame, Candy got signed. Candy got signed, and her album came out. It was a little odd, the timing of it and all. Now that Candy knows the truth about Latasha's feelings, she's revealing her own opinion about what happened between them. God's favor ain't fair. How did my album have anything to do with her album not coming out? I was on Columbia Records and she was on So So Death. Please ask Jermaine why your album didn't come out and stop blaming me. She tweeted, yes, God, Miss Candy. Candy also weighed in on the drama between Latasha and her sister Tamika, who were involved in an explosive fight about money in the debut episode. As a refresher, Tamika claimed that Latasha stole money from her while she was pregnant with her daughter Armani. Latasha denies the allegations. Candy suggests that Latasha was trying to deflect from the real problem at hand, tweeting. She had a whole situation going on in the family, but was really trying to make me the focus of the problem once again. And I agree with every single solitary last word of what the fuck Candy Bird said. See, she getting up here with that damn Giselle and Rob and shit, and I don't like it. You got real stuff going on, but you trying to... 
as one Twitter user pointed out, why are y'all talking about Candy when Tasha and Tamika are the ones beefing? Candy didn't do anything to which Candy replied, right. While Candy is upset that Latasha and Tamika are at odds, one Twitter user helped her find a silver lining. The perks of hashtag Queens of R&B is that Candy's name is finally cleared as the problem child and Tamika gets to separate herself from her sister toxic ways. Um, I didn't think of it like that, Candy replied. While this drama caused the group to break up yet again, or would they be able to overcome their differences in time to go on tour? Find out on the new episodes of SWB and Escape Queens of R&B, which premieres on Bravo Sundays at 9, 30, 8, 30. You can also stream on Peacock. Um, so, yeah, that's what's all that's going on. And that's why my thumbnail says what it says. If jealousy and envy were a couple. I agree with Candy. Candy has absolutely no reasonings as to why your album got shelved. They got shelved because it was tied and through. All right? That's why your album got shelved. I don't know why you blame the Candy child, but don't look. It's okay. Because be clear, I had Candy's first album. Now, I ain't going to necessarily say it was tied and through. I know I said it, but I ain't going to necessarily say it was tied and through. It was all right. But was it anything that you should really feel a way about? Absolutely not. <laughs> that's what no shade to candy that's what i'm gonna say but girl get over it like you can't sit over here and blame this girl because your shit ain't go no damn well so you you <sighs> so candy is another time it's like how everything tie fall everything candy fall dear god almighty i guess tasha like i say I don't understand. Listen, if it's all of that, Tasha, then why did you agree to get up here on this show? Because be clear, if it wasn't for Candy being who she was, and if it wasn't for Candy having to pull in Bravo, what would y'all be doing right now? That's what I want to know. I'm just saying. If Candy is all of this, and if Candy is to blame for this, and if Candy is to blame for that, then don't fuck with her. Get off her shit. That's how I feel. If it's all of that, Natasha, and if it's all of that, Rocky, get out of candy shit. That's how I feel. If she's all of this and all of that, then am scray. Y'all don't need to be here. You don't need this no way. Ain't you going solo? Girl, I listened to your song, by the way. Now, don't get me wrong. Latasha can sing, hands down. Latasha can sing her face to the flow. I would never sit here and act like this woman can't sing. But do I necessarily think history is repeating itself? Anyway, y'all drop down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this situation. In my opinion, Candy cleared, and I won't mad or upset at anything that Candy said. Candy won't wrong in nothing that she said, and I saw no lies in what Candy said. Now, I'm more than sure the people that don't like Candy just to not like Candy is going to poke holes in everything, which is fine. Do what y'all do, but um, don't come for me because <laughs> I said what I said. I'm Team Candy on this 1,010%. Dear God Almighty, child. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all could have went to jail. But yet, I'm gone. But, and before I leave, I still want to know, are we ever going to get uh, to see when this little girl came out talking about something? She had this big romantical relationship with Rocky and how he was cash for her, all these funds and all the rest of this stuff, and how she was pregnant and all, of the, all this other type of current on. Is we finna get this in this? I really want to know that too. Y'all drop down in the comments and let me know. Did y'all remember that? Because I remember that. I'm gone. For real this time. Bye.